What is up guys? Thank you for clicking my video. It is Roy Callum and I'm going to show you how to do some sick angles. So guys, I thought I'd make this video to show you exactly how I turned myself Super Saiyan in my video last week. It's really not as hard as it looks, so let's get started. So guys, before we start, I am not an expert. I am still learning. This was my first attempt at these edits, but I just wanted to show you guys what you can do it is very simple and very easy. So here is the example from last week's video of the three edits that I did. Here we go. Guys, look what I can do. The flash edit. I'm super fast. I can also do this. It's like I'm super saiyan. The Dragon Ball Z edit. But the best thing is. And the best one. Wearing the right pants for this. Superman edit. So they are the three edits that I did last week. I'm not going to show you how to do the Dragon Ball Z or ball thing because it's a lot harder than the other two. But the Flash and the Superman are super easy, very, very simple. Anyone can do them. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it right now. Let's go. Okay, guys, so here is the first clip of me being super fast. Okay, guys, look like So without the edits, it's actually a lot longer. But it's got two points where I need to edit. So this bit when I'm running out, and then this bit when I'm running back in. They both need to be masked to make it look like I'm super fast. So the first one. Okay, guys, so all we're going to do gets a bit of me running like this bit. Just cut it there, and then go a frame forward and just cut it there, and then pull this clip up. Zoom in a little bit. And this is going to be where we're going to mask. So go hit, go here. Go to hold. Gets a little bit longer, and the clip holds. So we're just going to shorten it. It's going to be a really small clip. Okay, guys. Now what we're going to do is go to effects, click on mask, go to draw mask, drag it onto your clip, and then we're just going to add a mask. Doesn't have to be super accurate because it's going to be blurred anyway to make it look like we're going super fast. But I'm quite OCD, so I like it to be on the lines at least. I don't want it to be really shitty done. Drawing masks is super tedious, and that's probably why most people don't do it, but it looks so effective once you've done it because. Like, come on, even that two second clip of me being a flash looks so awesome. I could have made it longer, but I was busy and I had to rush, so it wasn't as long as I wanted, but it just looks so good. But just like even this, just doing a rough outline takes so long. My head is so big. There we go. We have our master on here. So now, guys, what we're going to do is go to blur, go to directional, drag it onto the clip and drag it to the direction you're going to run and make it super blurry because we're running super fast. Okay guys, so we have the mask here, super blurry, going in that direction, but just at the end of the clip, I'm about to go out of frame, I'm just about to start running, so I'm going to start that one literally on top of me, to blur me out. And then the next frame is empty, got blank background. So we're going to copy and paste a shitload of these. Probably too many there, but we'll be alright. Then we're going to go frame by frame, moving me a tiny bit. At a time until I go out of frame. So, see if we got it right. So, that's that one. So, it's like super fast. Then we just need to get the other section ready. 
So I'm going to extend the blankness a tiny bit so we can fit in me running the other way for the effect here. So that means we need another mask. So that's where I land. So we're probably going to use that. So we'll delete the rest of that. We'll move one frame forward, cut it there. And this is going to be our other mask. So I'm going to go to hold again. Obviously cut it down. It's way too big. That'll do. Try to get over here. Now what we're going to do is the same as before, we're going to do a draw mask, we're going to go to masks, we're going to draw a mask, bring those back so we can see it, there we go, and then we're going to draw another mask. Okay, so there's our mask, we're going to do the same thing again, we're going to go to blur, directional, put it on the mask. And we're going to drag it the opposite way, so we're going this way now. We're going to drag it. Really try and blur it as much as we can. Maybe about there. And then, same again, we're going to make some copies of it. Probably won't need as many for this one. But so there's our clip exiting. Now we need to enter. So we need to transform, drag this all the way over here of us entering in to the clip. Now let's see how this looks. less of the running ones so it's not always the best so you have to go back through that one's okay that one's okay that one needs to come a bit more forward that's what's lagging us it's not going fast enough okay guys I've rejiggled it a little bit let's see if this makes it look any better That's a bit better. Okay. That is how you do it. So it just takes a lot of patience. You have to mask both of them, cut them out individually, and just make it look like that. This is just a quick version. This isn't the best way. I could obviously jiggle it around, but I don't want to bore you guys. But this is just the gist of it. That's how you do it. Blur it out. You can add some effects like lightning to make you look like you're super fast. You could add some dust. There's lots of things you can do. I will go into that in a bit more detail in a minute. But let's show you the Superman jump. So first things first, we need to get rid of all of this shit. So let's select it. Delete. And then we need to find the Superman jump. So we just need to find the right clip. I believe this is the clip. So guys, here is a clip. It's a raw clip, it hasn't been altered in any way. It's got no color correction or anything like that, so it's really quiet and it doesn't look amazing. But here it is in all its essence. That is me jumping, looking like a retard. Then it goes to the black background, which is what we need. And then me landing, because we need a good landing. So, the same as we have the flash, what we've got to do is find a point where I just jump up. So I'm going to say that is going to be where we draw our mask. I'm going to get rid of all that shit, get it to the blank background, and then we'll have to find the other clip after that. But in here, it's going to be our first mask. So same again, we go to masks, raw mask, move to the clip, 
Then we're just going to draw our control points. Yet again, doesn't have to be super accurate. So there is our mask. Same again. We're going to go to blur, go the wrong way, go to directional, slap it on, and we're going up this time. So obviously, you're going to direct it up as much as you can, and then the fun begins. So. As you can see, that's it. So I'm going to make loads of copies again, paste a shitload of copies. This one probably doesn't take as many copies as the last one. But we're going to transform. This is the first one, so we're going to move it slightly up. Then it goes to the next frame, so we're going to move that one even more up. Then the next one, just keep going until we exit the building. So we exit the frame. Probably using too many here, but you never know until you do it. Okay guys, here it is. It looks pretty effective, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah buddy. But anyways, we're gonna go to the other side and do the landing now. I'm going to cut this bit out, delete that part, and then cut the next frame out of this. This is going to be our other mask, and then I'll just cut it to where I land. So that's about there is where the clip's going to end. So you can delete this, and then we'll work on the mask. So here we have it. I'm going to go to masks. Same again, draw mask. This does get very boring and very repetitive. This is so freaking tedious. You love them shoes though, I know you guys do. Them Crocs are just too fresh. And there we go, there is our mask. And do the same thing again. We're gonna to go to blur, directional. And this time we're coming down, so we're gonna blow it all the way down. It looks really weird, but it works. Same again, we're gonna copy, and then we're gonna paste a couple, just to see what it looks like. We're probably gonna make this blue background slightly bigger. We have a gap between as well, so we don't just come straight back down. So, move these over to here. Start here. So we don't want it to come straight from here. It needs to come from the top. So we just want feet. And then a little bit of leg. A little bit more leg. And then a little bit of body. Okay guys, let's see what it looks like. So it looks like I'm falling back. Pretty effective. So here's the whole thing. Flying up, coming down. Now the blurs don't look the best. See what I mean? So you could add like the Gaussian effect, or however the fuck you say this, and just make it even more blurry. Just blur it out slightly more. But that is the basic way to do things like this. It's super simple and it looks so effective. This is only a rough edit though guys, this is not my final work. I was doing this really quickly just to show you guys, but it's super simple. I know I keep pressing this as well, it's probably quite annoying now, but it's super simple. You can add different effects, you can make it look a lot cleaner as well. Like my other one is actually a lot cleaner than this and it has some other effects. You can even add some dust when you land or like some other weird effects. You can add some sound effects like whoosh sound. So you can use things like this whoosh effect. This is just an example. This isn't the one I used, but that's not the best whoosh effect, but it just makes things look and sound a lot better. There's also things like the lightning bolts. Let me show you where they are. Things like these lightning bolts. You can add these in and they make it look a little bit more effective. 
here's the orb and stuff like that. I'll show you where to get these now, but this is just my basic way of doing it. I'm not going to go into full detail because I'm not an expert. So guys, I learned how to do all this from this kid. His name is Filmmaking Simple. He must be like 12 or 13, but he is amazing. So here is this flash super speed effect. My computer has been really slow. So he's really, really young, but his video is just amazing. So he obviously shows you how to do it. And then he also has links to like the strike pack, which is like the lightning effect. So you can download it on all his videos. So like the energy ball video as well, which is really detailed. He is such a cool kid. So they're a lot better than me, but that was only my third attempt. He's just a wizard at it. But like stock footage for like the orbs and stuff, you can download it all from Footage Crate. He shares it all there. It's all free and it's just amazing. Like he is an absolute legend. There's probably loads of kids out there, but I really like this kid. I think he describes it and shows it in such a detailed way, way better than I do. So go check him out. He is just cool. Like, I wish I was that cool at like 12, 13. Like, look how young he is. Grab your adjustment later. Okay. He's tiny. But anyways, guys, go check him out. He is so sick. So guys, that is how I became Super Saiyan. And I just feel like it's so effective. It's quite simple to do. And I'm definitely gonna be using it a lot more. But I really hope this video helped you guys. I hope some of you can start using these kind of edits as well. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.